So you want to grow your YouTube channel using Twitter? Well, that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. But first, if you already haven't leaked up your account to Twitter, make sure you go to the Creator Studio channel, account settings, and then connected accounts and connect Twitter. Now, I'm going to be doing this little step-by-step -step thing with you because it's easy if you're already logged in Twitter. Authorize app, redirecting back to application, and boom, you're in. Now, you can make it so it will share your uploaded video, add a video to a playlist, or when you like or save a playlist. Well, like a video, save a playlist, whatever. But if you don't want none of that and you just want it to be connected for... No reason, go right ahead. I know a bunch of YouTubers only do it so it has a little notification, not notification, it posts a whole message on Twitter. They only have it set to upload a video, but feel free to do whatever you may please. Now let's go ahead and get into number five. Okay, so we all know you could do a lot of stuff with Twitter, but when you have your own videos and you want to promote your content, just like, let's say I'm going to pick one video straight off my list not sure right now do it a little live on the spot for you so you get a little experience to know what to do to help you as a person on twitter grow your channel as a per entity on youtube guess that makes more sense we're going to be using psycho black ops 3 player now copying the link address what's happening okay i've got that I could just post that, which it did post it when I uploaded the video to my channel, or I can do hashtags. Hashtags are like, are you serious? Those are the things that they use on TV shows. Well, a bunch of people, you know what? I cannot tell you that right now. We'll get into that a little later on, but correctly hashtagging your video is a great thing since this was Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3, hashtag call of duty something like that i know that seems a little too much but you know it's something and it really does help out because like i said people search hashtags and they may come across it They're like whoa man that's neat going on into number four keep fans informed now if you go ahead and look at my channel i try my best to keep people informed whether it be with gaming in and of itself or just different stuff about me we'll get a little more into the second one a little later but the gaming part designing new fresh coat fresh paint coat on gaming lube i post stuff by working on videos all this stuff and you may think who wants to read that well trust me a lot of people do they want to keep in contact with you so they do know you are making content so they can be ready and when you do upload that video and it pops up just like that. Psycho Black Ops 3 player. Blah, 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 blah. All that stuff. And it takes you stri takes them straight to the page. And I I've seen it help YouTubers. So I just started doing it myself. And it's actually fun to do. It's like keeping a mental track of yourself on what's going on. Always writing stuff down. Whether it be real life notepad or this. Try it out yourself. See how it does for you. Number three, letting fans into your life. Going back, you see birds everywhere. Pictures, whether it be from the scenery at your homes and all, it helps out because what humans do is they latch on to wanting that reality feel, whether it be on the housewife shows or let's go digging mine shaft shows, all that stuff. Now, I'm not saying it is a bad thing, because it's actually a good thing. It lets you become one with your subscribers more and more, and makes that more warm feeling, like you're a friend to them. And I love that, personally. I don't know what you think about that. If you're not wanting to release all that information, you don't have to do this, but it does create more of a warm heart to just grab onto and feel it. Number two. Have a correct Twitter page. Now... When I say this, best updated graphics. As you see right now, I'm currently working on new graphics for this. I just finished the Gaming Lube ones up recently. Going to begin on my Twitter overload. But it also includes stuff like having your YouTube channel, having the little description here, a relevant name, which WT Shays, I might be dropping the WT going straight down to Shays. But 
It doesn't matter right now. Still in my head. Still working with it. The description, you could keep it short or you could do all the text. You know, the... What is it? I think... No, 140 is for a Twitter message. I don't know how much text they allow you to put in there. You could do all you want. I tried to keep it simple. Gamer with a namer. Owner and operator of Gaming Lube. Thought that was good enough for a description for me. May change it into the future. But make sure you take your time on working on your page. Don't just be like, oh, I got a Twitter. I could add that in later. Yeah, yeah. If you take too much time, you're losing more and more potential viewers because they could see your little hashtag thing and be like, huh, well, I'm going to go check out that page. Oh, it's dull. You know, what do I want to do with that? So, yes, do take the five to ten minutes to work on all this. Make it look good. Probably by the time you see this video, I might have the new graphics up. Not sure yet. Still ironing out a little few details. But let's get on to that number one. Number one. Communication. Now, when you you follow people on YouTube, make sure you have the bigger YouTubers. I'm not saying... Just the ones you like, the ones you listen to. And the thing is, why? You communicate with them. That may sound a little simple, like, duh, who wants to do that? We, are, we do that if we want to. As you see here, I have a few little things with these tweets and replies. I'm trying to make that sound epic, that actually hurt a little bit. Just replying to people, no matter what it is, no matter how big they are. Get into that community, community, wow, community, and become one with the YouTuber sensations in a different, not a full different way, but in the best way you can. I mean, you could take your time if you want to, or you could just be like, yeah, man, that's cool. But the longer you type and the more thought out responses you give, that helps the communication. Plus, just like Chaos Silencers here watching Creed, or great things. People are going to see that and be like, huh, I wonder what people said to it, if they like the movie or not. Well, oops, look, there I am. They might say, huh, well, he might seem cool. He's got a cool little picture. Let me click it. And then they get right to your page, which is why you should have a correct Twitter page that looks decent, at least. And I've got to update. Wow. Don't know if that got caught up in that. I hate Java. Other ways to communicate is through the hashtags. Now, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but going up to the search Twitter, like I've got Call of Duty right here. People do this quite often, you know, they'll type it in, and they'll actually look around and see all the other people's posts as I'm looking through here. You know, I can't read some of them because a lot of people are going to use this hashtag, but the ones I can read, I could start communicating with them, making friends with them so that they might become fans of you. Now, not to sound like a vulture just picking off people, because communication is a great skill. You may not have it, but you can earn it throughout time. Take your time on it. Like, see this one right here, Excel HD. Hashtags, hashtag, at people. I could respond to that being like, I love the transgression camo, or something simple like that. Let's him know that you're viewing the content. He might come, you know, shake your hand basically and check you back, whatever it may be. Take your time, communicate, all that good stuff. Hope these top five little ways helped you out. Like, rate, comment, subscribe. My name is Divity Shays. This is the Gaming Lube. Toodaloo.